Well, how are you doing? Okay, this video is going to be called the tangent paradox. <clears throat> As there's a bit of an issue um, geometrically with um, our opponent's claims of creating a, a horizontal tangent, right? Now, I don't know how they're going to define horizontal considering they're dealing with the surface of a sphere. Um, but besides all the hassle with that, <clears throat> I'm just going to go through this um, very simple uh, demonstration to show how what they claim is geometrically paradoxical and it can't work. <clears throat> okay, here we have a red line which is the horizontal and we have one, two, three, four, five black lines which are the verticals. Excuse me. Now, each one of those vertical lines are perpendicular to the horizontal line. And the horizontal line is perpendicular to all five vertical lines. And on each side of the vertical lines, there is right angles uh, being created. Now, I didn't put in the angles, but you know it's right angles. Um, <clears throat> so that means that there's not any one of these that is not perpendicular to this red line. This red line is horizontal, and they're all perpendicular to it. Straightforward, yeah? Not, not really something that you need to worry about. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to show here now. Bring in a photograph. 65, 70, right? So, this is, just going to zoom in a bit. This is Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, Pontchartrain. Now, I made another video some while back, and I'll link it in the description of this video. It's about how horizontal the horizon is, basically, um, on Lake Pontchartrain. Um, I show with GeoGebra, how GeoGebra, I actually have a line here, because I took this as a screenshot off, off of that video. I have a line in here on this uh, photograph, where as part of the other video, where I show just how horizontal the, hori just how horizontal the water is uh, on Lake Pontchartrain. <coughs> Pontchartrain, sorry. So here, the, what this means is this red line here, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see it. This red line here is the horizontal. Each one of these black lines are verticals, right? So here we can see four verticals. They're all perpendicular to this red line. That means that they're all plumb to the horizon here, see the water horizon here in the point of drain. And <clears throat> so which means that each one of them are creating a perpendicular to this horizon, right? Uh, this water horizon. So if we use the horizon, the sea horizon, the water horizon, let's just say over a big lake or this, on the sea as our, you know, a reference for horizontal, and we do, as the saying goes, or uh, used a lot by Bev, um, is all horizontals are perpendicular to each other, and all horizontals are perpendicular to the plane of the horizon, right? That means all verticals, that means all plumbs are perpendicular to the plane of the horizon. It just has to be, right? It's just one follows the other. So if the plane of this horizon here, right, is matching this red line, and it is, and it's matching this other line that's underneath it, uh, that, that's placed on that photograph previously, then that means the, all of these verticals are perpendicular to this horizon, right? Not just this one, or just that one, or just this one, or just this one, all of them, right? Let's zoom out in a second, move this over a touch. So I'm just gonna show without the, right? Zoom in here. Now it's a bit pixelated, but you can see it. Bring up the, bring this up a bit. You can see it a bit better. Now, as you can see, it's clearly defined that that horizon here is absolutely matching that red line. And that red line is a total horizontal, it's on GeoGebra. This line here is another line I placed in on GeoGebra when I used this photograph before. So there's no if, buts, or maybes that that is a horizontal. And that is a reference for the red line. The red line and this other line underneath. The, the reference for them is this water, this water horizon here. That's what it is, right? So <clears throat> the problem is, is that if we deal with our opposition, what they're going to say is only one of them at any one time is perpendicular, which is completely false, as I've just shown. They're all perpendicular, right? Because the water is the horizon, 
and that is our reference for horizontal and I showed in the other video that I'm going to link in the description and I showed I showed sorry I showed it just here right now that they are all perpendicular to a total horizontal which is what that horizon is showing right so if the horizon is horizontal and it's and it's a reference for horizontal then all verticals have to be and all, all plums all verticals have to be perpendicular to it simultaneously right doesn't matter uh, how many of them i place on this screen here or how many plums we hold up to the horizon they all have to be perpendicular to it but that means that the horizon has to be a horizontal right F fair enough okay so <clears throat> this leads us to a tangent so if we just come down here right here you can see i have made let's just go a little bit so you can see it a bit better so here you have <clears throat> we have this line here right and this line down here and i have these lines coming off of this one and these lines coming up from this one now this one here is obviously not a horizontal it's obviously a vertical and these are vertical lines or sorry horizontal lines out from this vertical right but this one here is a horizontal and this one these lines here are vertical so each one of these lines here these vertical lines here are perpendicular to this horizontal there's no if buts or maybes about that it's just the way it is um <clears throat> now that means that not there's none of them that can't be perpendicular to this horizontal each one of these four per, uh, uh, vertical lines has to be perpendicular to this horizontal it's what perpendicular is right so if i just go to now i've added in a circle now this line here of s is this line this s line here is supposedly a tangent right but <clears throat> this is the problem first of all which one of these two lines here is a horizontal because to claim a tangent is one thing, right? It's in it's geometrical. You can claim a tangent, right? But when you say, as they our opposition must say, when it comes to celestial navigation, they must say that they are creating a horizontal tangent, not just any tangent. It has to be a horizontal, right? So if they say they're claim if they're claiming to create a horizontal, then S the line S here that is a horizontal. So all of these lines here are perpendicular to it but according to our opposition only this one here i'm just going to change it to blue right only this blue line here i'll thicken it up a bit so you can see it right only this blue line here is perpendicular according to our opposition i'll make this this line here blue as well right so according to them only this is perpendicular because this is their tangent plane right but this is nonsense because all these other three are obviously perpendicular so how can they create a tangent plane in reality right this is the problem they can't have a tangent plane in reality a horizontal tangent plane in reality for two reasons number one is this if you create a tangent plane then that means that and it's claimed to be a horizontal that means that then that means that every one of the verticals that is plumb to that right as they're going to be will be also perpendicular so you can't claim that only this vertical here right is horizontal or is perpendicular to this horizontal because what they do is they create a tangent at this point here which is the main this is what they do the one point they create a tangent which is this blue line I make this one a bit thicker as well so you can see it right and they then claim that this line here which is let's say the zenith from the observer let's say if they have a sextant or something is is the vertical and that's perpendicular to their horizontal tangent plane but all these lines are also perpendicular so how can this one here only be perpendicular see they need this one to, only one of these and that's this one to be perpendicular because this one is going to the center of their sphere in their own maths or their own mind but then you have the other problem of <clears throat> someone else who believes they're over on this part of a globe right so i make this one make this one orange maybe right and i bring the line up to put nine right and they do the same with this make this one orange and bring the line up to nine so you can see it now this person here is claiming 
that they're creating a, ta a horizontal tangent plane and that this vertical here, only and only this one, is perpendicular to it. This person here is claiming that they're creating a horizontal tangent plane and only this vertical here is tangent to it. Now, for a start, which one of these on a sphere is horizontal then? Because you can't have two horizontals. That doesn't exist. Horizontal is a constant. You know, it's a constant orientation. You can't change the orientation of horizontal. All pitch, whether it be all, all pitch below, up, uh, above and below horizontal is determined by horizontal. Horizontal is zero, right? Rate of slope zero. That's what horizontal is. So how can this, this line here be, this orange line here be perpendicular and this blue line here, oh, sorry, horizontal and this blue line here be horizontal? Can't. Obviously, the only one of these in reality that can be horizontal is this blue line. But that also means that not only that also means that these other lines here, these other black lines here, I'll make them blue as well. Right? This sorry. This line here, sorry, blue. This line here, blue, and this line here, blue. That they also have to be perpendicular to this line. If this line is claimed to be a horizontal, and it has to be when you're talking about something like celestial navigation, then all of these lines must be perpendicular to this horizontal. Um, and so the point being is that how does this work and how can it work with a tangent? You can't claim a tangent. It's total nonsense. If you're claiming a horizontal tangent plane, then all verticals to that horizontal tangent plane will be perpendicular. But the problem is, is that in globe world, only this one here, I'll actually change the color of this one to red. Only this red one can be perpendicular in their world. But that's mathematically impossible because you can't have this being a perpendicular and this being a perpendicular when only the blue line is horizontal. That's the problem. The blue line is the horizontal. So how can this orange line be a horizontal as well? It can't. And how, come, how can the, how can uh, sorry, these here not be perpendicular to this blue line. They can't. It's the they, like it's literally like that's what that's what perpendicular is, a horizontal and a vertical. So there is absolutely no mathematical way for our opposition to claim that they're using a horizontal tangent plane, whether it be in celestial navigation or surveying or anything else. You can't claim a horizontal tangent plane, and then because and then claim you're on a globe. Because then that means is you're claiming only one vertical, which is the one right at your feet, only that vertical uh, is perpendicular to it. Well, it's not horizontal then. But it is horizontal if you're claiming it's horizontal. So if you're creating a tangent plane, what you're claiming to be a tangent plane, a horizontal tangent plane, that means that all verticals to that tangent plane uh, uh, are going to be perpendicular. But <clears throat> just let me get a um, where are we? segment. But this is the problem. Right, I'm gonna come out here. Right, that loop. Right, according to them, right, this line here, make that a, a green one. Right, according to them, this green line is a vertical. But how can that be a vertical? Right, because it goes to this. They 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 have to claim that all verticals are are, are go to the. Uh, center of their globe, right? This is what their claim is. So they're trying to claim that this orange line here, this red line, and this green line are verticals. But how can they be verticals? Because that means if they're verticals, then that makes the, these three blue lines not vertical. But they are vertical. Because this is a horizontal. That's not a horizontal. This is a horizontal. Unless I rotated this circle around, then this blue line would be down here. And the orange line up here, then the orange line would be the, the horizontal. The point is, is that <clears throat> you can't have different degrees or uh, horizontals being at different degrees to each other. That doesn't, that's mathematically impossible. You can't do that. It's geometrically impossible. Horizontal is a constant orientation. It's what all pitch is defined from, above and below horizontal. Its rate of slope is zero. So, you can't say that these three, uh, these three lines here, blue lines, are not perpendicular to this horizontal. You can't claim that. You can't. You can't claim a horizontal tangent plane, and then work with reality. It just doesn't work. Can't be done. 
this blue line is a horizontal this red line is a vertical but it is a vertical line but so is this blue line here and this blue line here and this blue line here they're all right they're all uh, <coughs> verticals and this is a horizontal so they're all perpendicular there's no way around it i don't see like i don't know how you're going to mathematically get around this it is impossible to get around it you can't claim a tangent plane a horizontal tangent plane is what you have to claim for surveying and for the likes of celestial navigation and other disciplines right uh, like uh, astronomy and that you can't claim a horizontal tangent plane and then try and claim that only one line can be only that only your zenith is vert is uh, perpendicular to it you can't it's paradox it's impossible um, and you can't claim that different people on different parts of a sphere are also creating horizontals. It's ridiculous. Which one of these? It, it, which one of these lines is the is the horizontal? Obviously, on the screen we know it's the blue one. But if you take into if you uh, take yourself into the world of believing on a globe, on a sphere, then which one of these are horizontal? None of them. There's no such thing. Horizontals and verticals can't exist if you believe you live on a sphere because these three lines aren't vertical. They're three diver diverging uh, diverging lines from the same point, same central point. None of them are a vertical. Vertical lines don't meet at a central point. These are vertical lines. These are always parallel. They can never meet. Horizontals are always parallel. They can never meet. Verticals are always parallel. They can never meet. So how can these three lines here, this orange line, this red line, and green line, be verticals? They can't. No, uh, no more than both of these can be horizontal. The orange line is obviously not horizontal. Technically, it's a vertical. If we took away the circle there, it would just be a vertical. And these lines here would be horizontal. But the, the, the only perpendiculars are up here. Right? This one, this one, this one, and this one. So I don't see any way out of it for you. I don't know how you want to get around this geometrical issue. Because it is an issue. Because like, you can never claim... Basically, no, no, no one in, on our opposing side can ever claim a horizontal tangent plane again. Because if they do, it means they have to completely let go of a sphere belief, uh, even though they just claim the tangent plane. But they have to leave go of a, a sphere belief because it means that they have to accept it, but that that all these other lines can be perpendicular to that same tangent plane. That makes these three, this orange, sorry, this orange, red, and green line, not not verticals. You know, you have to decide which one, which ones are the ver verticals: the green, the red, and the orange. Or these lines you know if you're claiming the green the red and the orange then i mean none of them are parallel to each other so i don't know how they can be verticals and none of them can be uh none of them can be verticals because there is no horizontal that there they can be perpendicular to you have to create a tangent plane and then when you do any amount of verticals can be uh perpendicular to it but them verticals will be real ones that are parallel to each other um, if I go back up here, this is this is the, the nonsense of it. If we go back up here, as I showed, this is the horizon, right? I showed earlier, this is the horizon. Um, and this is, I'm not changing that line to blue by accident, but it doesn't matter. There you have it again, the horizon here. This is the horizon on Lake Ponchart train. And these are all, this is showing that all these black lines are, are plumb to it. Verti they're all vertical. So these are, these are all, all these black lines are making a, a perpendicular with the horizon the water horizon here across the lake that's it that means you can't say only one of them because this is a sphere in globe world uh, the only this one is is the vertical no they're all verticals they're all parallel to each other they never meet same way the same way as this little thin line here is a horizontal and this blue line is a horizontal and the line up here is a horizontal. They're all horizontals, they're all, but they're all, they're all parallel to each other. They never meet either. This is the point. So there's no way out of this. I, there's, like, it's just geometrically impossible to claim a tangent plane. You can't claim a tangent plane, a horizontal tangent plane. You just can't. You can't claim it in reality. It's purely uh, fantasy. It can't be used in any way, shape, or form. Because if you do, then you have to claim that. That you can only have one vertical and perpendicular to it. It's just this is crazy. Either it's a horizontal or it's not. You know, and you can't claim. You know, you can't just can't claim a horizontal uh, tangent plane. That's it. You can't claim that and expect me or anyone else to take you serious because it's just impossible for it to work in reality, <coughs> mathematically or, or any other way. 
Thanks for watching.